I'm Sandra Rupp, filming from the number one happiest, healthiest city in the USA, and I would be happy to interview any Davos CEO who wants to talk about the US election. I've been following Davos uh, meetings as well as Bill Gerberg. It's a fraud. It's an election fraud, and we are going to do everything to make sure that he stays four more years because we know that there are hundreds of pages of affidavits in the swing states. There are 11,000 reports of criminal activity in the counting centers. We have fraud coming out of our ears. We know each other very well. And uh, interestingly, he co-founded the Sustainable uh, Commission with Lord Malik Brown. So we did a video to Lord Mark Malik Brown because he is George Soros' best friend. He's the chairman of Smartmatic, which uh, provided the software to Dominion voting systems through their acquisition of Sequoia. That was the only way Biden could win. I am a top female executive coach. I worked in executive search. I was placed on the Thinkers 50 radar list for the world's top business thinkers. Donald Trump won this election. Suburban women voted for him. He got more votes from African-American black community as well as the Hispanic community. Warren had said at a Fortune Most Powerful Women's Conference, the best way to get men to change is to embarrass them a little bit. Today we're going to talk to Klaus Schwab, uh, the head of the World Economic Forum, the founder. We don't believe the liberal media. We don't like the way the tech CEOs are trying to say, well, the AP has declared that Biden won. And we know that the dump of votes on election night was a total fraud. Very honored to be a part of President Trump's angels, if you will. When the left-wing media tries to say, oh, but there's no evidence, uh, let me tell you something. There are 300 pages of affidavits, George Soros said, at World Economic Forum, Klaus. He said Trump will disappear in 2020. Okay, then we find out that Lord Mark Malik Brown, who happens to live in um, a place owned by George Soros in New York, and worked for the Soros organization, has this election software originally based in Venezuela and China, and Lord only knows where else, used by Hugo Chavez to take over Venezuela. We find out that he is the one who got the software into the U.S. Look, Nepal has released the Kraken in Georgia and Michigan. There'll be more coming in Arizona. Um, we know we can win Pennsylvania. It'll go to the Supreme Court or the state legislature will rule. Uh, we will, you know, have a civil war if we have to, Klaus, because there's no way that we're going into socialism. There's no way that we're going to um, listen to the powers that be at Davos, the left-wing billionaires, about how to run our lives. Social media companies at Davos have, you know, tried to get rid of freedom of speech. It's not working. Uh, Lionel Barber has written the book The Powerful and the Damned. Um, I think he got the idea from me because he talks about his diary. And of course, I have a Davos diary at sandrarup.wordpress.com. And I have seen, you know, liberal billionaires block me on Twitter when I ask them why they only have one woman on their CEO team. I've been blocked by a prime minister of Canada recently, Justin Trudeau. Look, I'm fearless, I'm feminine. I have the power to bring down Paul Pullman if I want to. I have asked him to help me get conservative and Republican women to the World Economic Forum. Um, I was actually uh, in contact with him the night that he drove to uh, Blenheim Palace for dinner with Donald and Melania Trump. We were in constant communication. When President Trump was asked if he was going to sign the Paris Accord and said no, he did not believe in that agreement. Paul gave up on Trump and I, I told him that's the wrong way to go here, okay? Because conservatives were the first to care about the environment, but we don't want the Paris Agreement because for anyone who's actually read the Paris Accord, like I have, we know that it's written as a socialist agreement to favor India and China. And if President Trump has done a great job on the environment, getting our air clean and we are happy to help other countries if china and india will pay their fair share but we're not going to be taken advantage of here so to bill gates and to 
uh, you know, the head of who's a communist and all of you who want to take over the world and create a one world government. We don't buy it. We never did. The women of the United States are much smarter than that. These women that are liberal have been snowed over by these, like, CEOs. And, you know, Paul Pullman is very charming, let me tell you. Oh, he loves to hug and kiss people, you know. I've never felt that was a good thing for CEOs to do, and I've told him that. I don't believe in touching women, and Joe Biden is the worst at that. Uh, we're not going to let Klaus uh, win the Nobel Peace Prize by, you know, working with Soros and Malik Brown to take down the USA and put us into socialism because I'm not going to let us become Venezuela where the women can't feed the children and they can't feed the pets in the zoo. So this is just not going down properly, gentlemen. And uh, I am here to let you know that I speak truth to power. I want to encourage all Republicans to be on the Trump team because if you want to um, have anyone come out and vote for you, you better be on the Trump team because Donald Trump is the greatest president in American history. Uh, he follows in the footsteps of wonderful Republicans like Ronald Reagan and Abraham Lincoln. And I would put him in that category of presidents. So I'm honored to be here talking uh, on behalf of President Trump and Melania Trump and the Trump family. I originally got involved in the World Economic Forum at Davos when they actually were requesting ideas for uh, creating inclusive economic growth. And I was placed on the cover of the Davos debates in 2011 for my answer where I stated that investing in the feminine leadership style is the largest economic opportunity worldwide. In President Trump, we saw a man who was inclusive. He was creative. He's brilliant in that right brain creative type way. He's entrepreneurial. And he knew that if we were going to get more inclusive economic growth, it was going to come from entrepreneurship. It was not going to come from just the big companies taking advantage of women and not hiring us as we get older or not investing in us as entrepreneurs. He knew that women were the key. So he's had a lot of great women in his administration. And I had met Donald and Melania before, but I actually have sat next to them in the dining room at 21. And they are lovely people. When I started, there were only 15% women attending Davos, which was just crazy to me because I had worked in Global Executive Search based in New York, Roast Managing Director, and I knew the talent was out there for at least 30 to 40% women at Davos, probably 50% now. Now, after um, pressuring five key CEOs, uh, we're going to be having it in the summer because I think you can attract more women. You know, women didn't exactly like heading up to the top of a mountain in January um, where it's freezing cold and he started up the World Economic Forum originally with European CEOs and then American CEOs started attending this famous conference up in Davos Switzerland as we watch this election there's a bit of the wheel of fortune going on and I actually found a funny tweet the other day where they were solving the wheel of fortune puzzle and uh, it said Biden cheated that was the number one trend actually on Twitter the other night but most Americans don't believe that Biden won this election. So we are a long way from Inauguration Day. Um, and we believe Trump will get four more years. We've got a December 14th deadline. That's for the Electoral College. But then there's also the January 6th deadline where um, Congress actually has to approve what's going on. So there's a lot of steps in this process. The Supreme Court, we also believe, will get involved. We're curious about the Republican legislatures. Eight of nine of the swing states have Republican legislatures. I am proud to be an American. I love this country. And I will make sure that you all have your freedom of speech because I am fighting for every man and woman and child in this country. And I don't believe in open borders. I think that's incredibly dangerous and the men at Davos want open borders, which we will never have here because we know that we wouldn't be able to protect the women and children of the country. And I do not like the way things are going at Davos. I think Bill Gates is dangerous the way he talks about the coronavirus. I mean, he was smiling when he was talking about how dangerous the coronavirus was and how it was going to bring down the U.S. economy. We know there's a medical issue there. Um, look, 
Bill Gates did not graduate from college. He doesn't have a medical degree. We're not going to listen to Bill Gates when it comes to anything medical. Um, we know there have been problems in several countries where vaccines have been given. I would never take a vaccine because I don't trust the pharma companies now either. They have made massive amounts of money on these vaccines without taking the risk. Uh, you know, if, the, if someone dies, it's not their problem. Well, look, that's a bad way to incent these vaccine companies and these pharmaceutical companies. A highly sensitive person, you find out that you're, you get the side effects or you're the one who dies. So just caution everyone who's intelligent out there not to take anything that you don't want to take because this is a free country and it will stay that way. What you hear on liberal media about President Trump nine times out of ten is wrong. Uh, they don't report the truth about him. He's actually a very, very caring person. He loves this country. He's brilliant in his own creative, intuitive way and incredibly entrepreneurial and he does done great things for this country. Uh, I don't believe that COVID was a pandemic ever. There were not more deaths in the U.S. as Johns Hopkins rightfully pointed out and then they tried to get them to erase it on their website. You know, they were part of Event 201. But the reality is, is a lot of the deaths that were reported that were COVID, they had other comorbidities and the hospitals got paid more if they put down COVID. So this whole thing has been really a bit of a sham. Uh, I don't believe that you need to, you know, be quarantined at your home if you're healthy. It's ridiculous. Um, they tried to create all this communist propaganda to scare people, including women and children, which really upsets me. Uh, I don't believe that we need to worry about coronavirus when 99.8% of people survive it. If you are older or you have a serious health issue like diabetes or respiratory issues, that's one thing. But if you're a healthy person, 99.8% of people under a certain age survive it. I'm sure that Trump will be serving four more years. We know that one domino will fall, the rest will fall. This is how it works. So it's like a chess game, guys. Um, you know, I'm a bridge player, Bill Buffett. I hope you're watching. My father was a founder of the media and polling business. And uh, while he died two years ago, he'd be very upset by the behavior of the media CEOs right now, the liberal ones. Um, he believed in integrity and media and objectivity. And the idea that these media and polling companies were saying that Biden was 10 points ahead in the, in the uh, polls was just ridiculous. We all knew it. Most of my friends have switched to Newsmax and to OANN, One America News Network, as well as YouTube channels like mine. The television networks are all liberal. They're all based in New York. Uh, so they're all in on this. Uh, the guys in Silicon Valley are trying to say that Biden won by putting it on your little tag on your tweets or your videos. But we all know that Biden hasn't won. As you may all recall back in Florida in the Bush Gore election, that Florida um, Supreme Court was all Democrat, very Democrat, and sided with uh, Gore. But then, of course, it was appealed and it went to the Supreme Court and they ruled in favor of the Republican Bush, which will happen here. There's a gentleman, Dr. Kershavars Nia, who is an expert in cybersecurity fraud. He is now uh, joining the Sydney Powell team, but he talks about all of the irregularities in the election 2020, and he believes that there has been fraud. Linwood, you're doing a great job. Rudy Giuliani, all of you. For any men who run companies who really want a top female executive coach, here she is. Call me on LinkedIn and we'll get down to business. Uh, I've been told I have ESP because I know it's going to happen before other people. So I named my company Parthenon Advisors after a Grecian goddess. And this sculpture really spoke to me. Um, she was the goddess of wisdom and knowledge and also the helper of heroes. If you would like to, you can also donate and sponsor me at patreon.com. We love President Trump. He loves this country. My relative was the Reverend William Brewster, the one college-educated person on the Mayflower. He went to Cambridge. And he uh, came to this country for freedom of religion and freedom of speech. So those are two values in the U.S. Constitution that we will never get rid of. Business Roundtable CEOs better really understand that the smartest women in this country are supporting President Trump uh, four more years. So thanks for watching, guys.
and have a nice evening. Love you all. I'm Sandra Rupp and I was placed on the Thinkers 50 Guru Radar list for the world's top business thinkers. Welcome to the art of 21st century career navigation. We're ready for Davos.